Hey everyone, Kev Muldoon here and in this video what I'd like to do is review this cover from a company called GMYLE and that is how I'm going to refer to this brand because I've got no idea how you would pronounce that otherwise. Now this cover is for the Google Nexus 6P and in my last videos I did some reviews of bumper covers and I've been using this kind of bumper style of uh, cover for my phones for probably around 10 years. The last time I had this kind of folio style was for a PDA phone that I had back in about 2004-2005 that was before touch screens were actually good and you had to use a stylus now this one is called the bookcase vintage and you can find it on the gmyle.com website retails for 28 or 29.98 sorry and so it's about $30 and the company were very kind enough to send me this for review for this video so kudos to them for doing that so, let's get to it, let's see what this is all about. So, there we have it, you have, it's really nice leather, you can see the GMYLE branding down the bottom. Along the side you have these kind of, it's kind of indented, it, it has the look of a kind of big encyclopedia or an old bible or something, it's, you either love it or hate it. Or maybe you're indifferent, I'm not sure. But what I will say is that it does feel like a quality product. It does feel really good. It actually feels quite good in the hand with those indents because it, it kind of works as a grip for your hand. So in the back you have the hole for the fingerprint sensor and camera, etc. Inside you have a wallet and you have a bumper cover. So this bumper cover is going to work in the same way that any other would. It's going to protect your phone and it's wrapped inside the leather case so you're getting a lot of protection for that. So I'll just put the phone in, I'm sure it's pretty easy to do. There's my, that's my I was going to say my harsh way of doing it but it fit in quite easily and yeah it's solid. So there you have it, as you can imagine case like this is going to add a lot of width, you know, it, it's going to add a lot of width to your phone, but from a height point of view, a height point of view it doesn't really add anything, um, maybe a millimetre at the top and the bottom, you know, that there really isn't much, maybe a millimetre or two at the top and bottom. So as far as putting this in your jeans, height wise, it's not really going to be a problem, but it is going to add a little bit of width. For that width though, you are getting a lot of protection. With the bumper, you obviously you've, it, the bumper raises the, um, your phone off so that you can lie it down like that and you're not going to hurt the screen. But you've also got this case around it, so even if it does fall and it lands like that, it should hopefully be okay. So I'll just do the, the standard test, make sure everything has been designed correctly. So we've got that's charging, we've got the USB charger in okay. So, fingerprint sensor. Not recognised. That's worrying. Is that a one off? Let me try this finger. Yep, that's fine there. That's fine again. Okay, that's my left finger. Let's try the right. Yeah, I don't think I was putting my finger all the way through it. Yeah, that's fine. So the cutout for your fingerprint is pretty good, actually. I'm not sure what I did that first time. So assume with a case like this that the whole concept is that you only carry one thing around with you. Because normally what I would do is I'd walk about with my phone and I'd have my phone in my left pocket and I'd have my wallet in my right. But the thing is, I, I really do, we can see this, I, I do keep a lot of crap in my wallet. You know, I've got like, this train tickets that are I've got, what else, I've got money, euros, just things that are, like, a lot of these notes as well, they're worth, like, a pound or 50 pence or something, you know, I've got two reals from Brazil, they're not really worth anything, but I just, I'm, I'm not really a hoarder, but I just think I'm quite lazy in that respect, I just keep everything in my wallet, I'm just getting a bad habit. So I don't think this would be actually too hard to get used to, you know, I could put in the, the essential cards that I want and then just keep money there, 
And I never keep coins in my wallet anyway, so I think I could carry everything that I need in this in this case. The question is whether I want to. I think the majority of the time it does make sense, you know, instead of carrying two things with you, you've only got one. So you've got everything in one package. But, you know, if you're a kind of social person, you're out with friends, you're showing someone a picture, you're giving them on your phone to take a picture or something like that, you're going to have to give them the whole thing. You're going to give them your wallet with your cards and your money and things like that. It's not necessarily a, a big problem, but it's something to bear in mind. So when you take a picture, as with all photo cases, it's, you know, it gets a little bit more awkward because you can't, you know, you can't get your hands around it as, as well as you could normally. That isn't a criticism of this case though, that is just a criticism of folio cases in general. And, I mean, this is an official product. It's not an official product from Google or from Huawei, so you don't have anything on the front. It's not like the cases you get for LG or Samsung or uh, HTC that you have like a clock or notifications. I mean, this is leather. So if you're going to use your phone, you're going to have to open it up and then use it like that. As I say, I'm not going to say I hate this style of casing, but it's not something I've used for a long time. So my plan is to use this for a few days and see if I can get used to it. And it'll hopefully change my mind about them because as it is just now, I would always kind of naturally gravitate towards the bumper style of cases rather than, you know, this kind of folio wallet kind of style. As far as the product goes, it's, yeah, I must admit, I really like it. Feels good in the hand. So obviously a very high quality product. I think, it's maybe not apparent, it, when you sit the phone down, you close it over, it kind of just sits up a little bit, and you know, it doesn't it doesn't sit flush. So that's something to bear in mind. It, it, it's, it's not an issue for me, but it doesn't seem to close all the way down. You know, there's no magnetic strips, there's no clips or anything like that. It's not a big problem at all though for me. So like most folio steel cases, this does have the bend at the back. So that means if I fold it over, um, yeah, that's the way. So if I fold it over like that, I can sit and watch a YouTube video. Just a cool little feature. Um, if you check out their website, you can see other ways that it can bend around. One thing I would say though is that the cutouts for the power and the volume. I think this could have been designed a little bit better. The USB port is fine. The headphone jack, that's fine. And you can see here that there's a kind of cutout in the bumper, the plastic bumper for your power and your volume buttons. Now they do work. I mean, your, your thumb reaches through and it does press the original buttons. The problem is that there's probably about, about half a centimeter between the end of the plastic bumper and the leather casing. So, this additional lip makes it a little bit of a pain to push them in and out. Your thumb kind of, instead of being straight down, it's maybe going like, like that, you know, it's maybe going at an angle. And that's different to a casing like this where you're pushing it there and the buttons are really tactile, really user friendly. With this it just feels a little bit more annoying and you know, I'm used to something more user friendly and it's hard not to catch your finger or your thumb, sorry, on this on the leather casing at the right hand side. Now, this is, again, this is something that all Folio cases kind of suffer from, so it's not exactly a criticism of the book vintage, but it is something to bear in mind. If you're coming from a bumper style type of casing where everything's really easy, you might find it a little bit annoying at first that your, your thumb catches the end of the leather casing. So please do bear that in mind. So there you have it. That is the GMYLE bookcase vintage. It's a, it's a lovely case in my opinion, it's a very high quality product and it's going to offer a hell of a lot of protection for your Google Nexus 6P. It doesn't add much height but it does add a lot of width and that becomes apparent when you, when you hold up another bumper case because essentially what this case does is wraps up a thick leather case around the bumper case so you know you're, you're effectively doubling the size of the phone uh, from a width point of view. You're going to get a lot of protection though, so if you're used to carrying these kinds of covers, I think you'll really like this product. So there you have it, GMYLE, I can't even get it right, here we go, GMYLE.com.
bookcase.com and it's the bookcase vintage retails for around thirty dollars um, just under twenty nine ninety eight and it's a nice product and yeah seems quite nice so if you've got any questions about this as usual please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them and if you've enjoyed the video please do consider liking or subscribing I've got some more case reviews coming up uh, on my channel over the next week or two and I want to do a summary with all the cases I have for the Google Nexus XP so please do hang around and check that out. Till next time guys, thanks for watching.